Did you know Hawaiian Punch was invented all the way back in 1934? That's nearly 90 years of fruity goodness! Since then, the drink has been released in over a dozen different flavors, and today we look at some of the best variations over the years. Number 11. The Original Hawaiian Punch When in doubt, always go for the original. Of course, this was basically all you could get in the 50s, but that didn't stop people from lining up to get their hands on it. Look, we're talking about a time, right, after a big old world war. Folks need something to cheer them up, and those 46-ounce tins of original Hawaiian punch were just what the doctor ordered. Now, this was way before the Pacific Hawaiian Products Company, who owned the brand back then, decided to branch out into specific fruit flavors. Instead, the original Hawaiian Punch was a combination of all things exotic. I'm talking guava, pineapple, papaya, passion fruit, and some good old-fashioned orange. With a combo like that, one sip would leave you feeling like you're on a beach at Bora Bora. Pretty soon, the brand decided to expand their lineup. Gotta keep those buyers from getting bored, am I right? Number 10. That Hawaiian Punch Guy During the 1960s, Punchy, the iconic mascot of Hawaiian Punch, began to make his mark on the brand. In a vibrant pop art advertisement from 1967, Punchy championed the varied range of the drink. By that time, Hawaiian Punch had expanded its flavor offerings to include four distinct tastes. red yellow, orange, and grape. Each variant was described as being rich in fruit, juicy goodness, resonating with the tropical allure of Hawaii. The advertisement enthusiastically declared, taste the sunshine fruits, highlighting the exotic flavors of guava, papaya, passion fruit, and pineapple, ingredients that lent an authentic and refreshing taste to the drink. The expansion of flavors and the catchy and campaign made it clear that there was a Hawaiian punch for everyone, emphasizing that there truly was no excuse not to drink it. Number 9. Sugar-Free Hawaiian Punch In 1986, in response to the growing demand for healthier beverage options, Hawaiian Punch introduced a new variation of their popular drink, the Sugar-Free Hawaiian Punch Drink Mix. This new offering promised consumers the same vibrant and tropical taste they had come to love, but without the added sugar. The tagline, everything ventured, nothing gained, cleverly emphasized that while they ventured into a new sugar-free territory. Number 8. The Unsweetened Hawaiian Punch Drink The Unsweetened Hawaiian Punch Drink Mix was a new variant introduced to the Hawaiian Punch range. It offered a more natural-tasting beverage experience, devout of added sugars. This product featured seven distinct flavors, each drawing inspiration from the tropical fruits and ambiance of Hawaii. Instead of a sugary profile, this mix emphasized the genuine flavors of the ingredients, ensuring a fresh and true fruity taste. It was a straightforward to prepare drink mix crafted for those who flavored a subtler, unsweetened flavor but still desired the refreshing essence of a Hawaiian punch. It served as an ideal choice for individuals who sought a beverage with fewer sweet notes without sacrificing the beloved tropical flavors. Number 7. Holiday Sunshine Punch By the late 60s, every punch bowl in America had some Hawaiian punch goodness in the mix. The company had started branching out of syrups and concentrates, introducing a line of ready-to-drink mixes that took the brand to a whole other level. This also meant that there were tons of new flavors for people to try out, but the Holiday Sunshine Punch was something else. It must have been a different experience, because this was one of the first punch mixes to bring pineapple front and center. Don't get me wrong, I like guava as much as the next guy, but sometimes you just want to taste pure delicious pineapple, you know? Now, this wasn't the only Christmas-themed Hawaiian punch folks got to try in the 60s. Number 6. Kris Kringle Punch to be fair, this one's a bit more gimmicky than the Holiday Sunshine Punch. I mean, it was more about the color than the flavor. The ads literally called it Red as Rudolph the Reindeer's Nose. Still, the Kris Kringle Punch was another big hit with the kids. That bright red color must have seemed impressive in those days, but what really tickles me is the flavor. Kris Kringle Punch was a cranberry-flavored drink mix. Like, 
When was the last time a kid asked for cranberry? Was this some sort of grown-up plot to get kids to drink something healthier for a change? Cranberry's got all sorts of goodness, but good luck trying to get a child to give it a try. Or, who knows, maybe Hawaiian Punch managed to make cranberry taste good for a change. Either way, the Kris Kringle Punch became a classic addition to their lineup. Zeroing in on flavors really helped Hawaiian Punch become America's favorite drink for a while there. But they weren't always so experimental. Some of their retro flavors are a bit more traditional, but they always raise the bar by adding the unexpected. Number 5. Vintage Hawaiian Punch Sunshine Orange I know, I know, an orange drink mix. If you've had one, you've had them all. But trust me, when I say the Vintage Hawaiian Punch Sunshine Orange really brought something unique to the table, you've got to understand. This flavor came out in 1970. People have been drinking orange juice with breakfast since, I don't know, forever probably, but they have never dreamed you can get the same experience without any pulp or seeds. That's why this flavor blew everyone's mind. You could make a fresh, delicious orange juice in seconds and with zero waste. Sure, it had about six other fruit flavors mixed in, but they somehow made the orange sing. You got that tartness with none of the bitterness, and the drink was sweet enough that kids could get tricked into having their morning vitamin C. Okay, so far we've talked about the different flavors Hawaiian Punch experimented with, but this next one isn't just iconic for being delicious. Number 4. Retro Very Berry Hawaiian Punch This canned beverage came out in 1971, and by this point, an entire generation of Americans had grown up drinking Hawaiian Punch. It's kind of funny that a drink that came out in the 1970s, basically half a century ago, ended up using the word retro in its product name. That just goes to show how long the company's been around for, and with the Retro Very Berry Hawaiian Punch, they did more than just expand their flavor options. Just like pre-packaged drink mixes took the convenience of syrups to a whole other level, canned drinks were changing the game in this decade and Hawaiian Punch wasn't going to let the opportunity pass them by. In 1971, they came out with this flavor in big cans, enough for even a grown man to quench his thirst. We've gone from spooning syrup into water, to tossing in some drink mix, to just popping open a can. And the flavor wasn't anything to sneeze at either. From what I've heard, Hawaiian Punch used sun-ripened berries to capture the taste of the outdoors. But here's something you should know. America was starting to get health conscious in the 70s too. As delicious as the retro very berry flavor was, it had a ton of sugar. And as people started to realize just how bad that was for them, this brand decided to try something new. Number 3. Low Sugar Hawaiian Punch this canned version of the diet version of Hawaiian Punch came out in 1975. This time around, they put about 65% less sugar in it, which meant that you could chug way more without worrying about your waistline. Oh, did I mention it had to be about 11% real fruit juice? Yeah, the company knew what it was doing. People wanted their drinks to be less artificial, and that's exactly what they got with the low sugar Hawaiian Punch. It wasn't for everyone, of course. Some folks like their drinks sugary, but if you were trying to lose weight in those days, a low sugar punch mix would have been a big help. That said, while introducing some healthier options to its product line, Hawaiian Punch still had its classical flavors in mind. Number 2. Retro Lemonade Punch there's nothing quite like the fresh taste of lemonade on a hot summer day, am I right? That's why Hawaiian Punch came out with this powder drink mix in 1977. The Retro Lemonade Punch wasn't the first lemon-flavored drink from the company, but lemonade is a whole other ballgame. It can't be too sweet, because lemonade's all about that tang. I'm not sure what mad scientists they had working at Hawaiian Punch at the time, but they somehow came up with a drink mix that captured the essence of lemonade maximum convenience. Number 1. Vintage Hawaiian Punch To Go Boxes We've come full circle all the way back to that vintage Hawaiian Punch that took the world by storm, but in a whole new package. In 1985, Hawaiian Punch had been around for half a century and their whole journey had been about making their drinks as convenient as possible. The vintage flavor had always been a mainstay in their lineup, and this time around, you could buy it in a box with a handy straw glued to the back. 
We take stuff like this for granted, but the concept of a zero prep punch ready made in a disposable container was revolutionary at that time. That's why this box Hawaiian punch became the centerpiece of every kid's lunchbox in the 80s. So, which of these retro Hawaiian punch flavors would you bring back? Let us know in the comments below. But that's all for today. See ya!